Good day, fellow observers. Today we're continuing our Brooklyn edition testing for version 13.2.8. This time we're heading to Luna Park in Coney Island. It is a 23 minute drive, 5.2 miles. Let me activate FSD. Okay, first try, does it work? Okay, good. Now we have a green light here. Now turn left onto 3rd Avenue. Okay, good. Okay, so good. Pause, slow down here, and then slowly moving forward. Okay, now we are stopping here. Now we have a green light. Okay, so we are veering a bit to the left here. So I have to press the acceleration accelerator and okay good adjustment here okay now we continue moving forward okay good Okay, so I have to press accelerator again because it is awkwardly pausing. Now we have a green light. Okay, so FSD is giving way, but I was almost, I actually pressed the accelerator a little bit, but then I just released it because the car was already, the van was already turning. In 500 feet, turn left onto Shore Road. Now turn left onto Shore Road. Okay, we have a green light turning left to Shore Road. Now turn right to take the Belt Parkway ramp. Okay, good. Turning right here. Okay, what you see up here is the Verrazano Bridge. And this is linking Brooklyn and Staten Island. Some 
noise here. Like that's not an awkward noise from Tesla, it's just my watch. So now I'm just, I'm just gonna wear it. So we'll reduce some unnecessary noise. Okay, good adjustment here for this merging SUV. Okay, good adjustment here for this merging SUV. We are continuing ahead. We are Exiting on exit 6, 1.6 miles. Okay, so FSD using an acceleration and then making a late change. That's good, and then brief hold of the speed for this merging SUV. Okay, now we're moving back to the middle lane. In one mile, take exit six on the right onto Cropsy Avenue. I think just to pass over the slower vehicles. Now take exit 6 on the right. Okay, so we are exiting here. Very nice. We are 7 minutes away. Okay, good. In 500 feet, turn right onto Cropsey Avenue. Now turn right onto Croxy Avenue. Okay, good. Turn right here. So, two. There are two right turn lanes. So, the one we have is still one of the right turn lanes. Initially, I thought that FSD didn't figure out that it should be only one right turn lane, but it turns out we have two, so that's good. Now we're moving to the passing lane here. And we have a green light, so we will be moving right ahead, but okay, good. I thought the roads are going to merge. Okay, so now we are changing lanes here and FSD is smoothly doing that with some adjustment. And I think, okay, so I think FSD knows that this is a left turn lane only. That's why it moved here, which just goes straight. slow down here now we advance we have a green light up ahead now we are slowly moving
In 500 feet, turn left onto Surf Avenue. Now I see a green light. Let's see if we'll make this turn. Maybe we need another green. Now turn left onto Surf Avenue. Okay, now we're stopping. Okay, so we are turning left here, but as you can see, this is now part of the attraction. So we're just making a left, I think, by the entrance. Okay, now we won't make it again. Okay, so steering wheel is moving. Okay, good. Okay, nice. So we are three minutes away, point two miles. And we're seeing now part of the park. Okay, good initiative here. FSD is moving to this right lane. Now, if you would notice that Nathan's hot dog stand, that is where they have the hot dog eating contest every year. So, just an FYI. Okay, so we are entering a construction zone here and FSD is I think so far doing okay. Okay, so I have to press the brakes here. So this is a disengagement because it is advancing but we already can't advance anymore because of this construction then we have a red light and then there are a lot of pedestrian here so I disengage now let me reactivate FSD okay so, okay, so we, have we have a green light FSD is advancing and I'm not sure if you can hear the scream so there is like a little roller coaster here on the right So we are continuing it to advance and the emergency vehicle is right, okay, it's right behind us. Now let me disengage here. But the thing is I, I can't go anywhere. Okay, now we have a green light. In 500 feet, your destination will be on the right. Okay, so I don't think I'll have enough time to re-engage it, but at least we are on the rightmost lane, and the ambulance should be passing by here on the left. Okay, good. So I'm re-engaging again, although it's the stop is really right there. Okay, good 
adjustment here. Now your destination is on the right. An adjustment here as well. Okay, so I'm just going to disengage and since we are here, I'm just gonna drive. All right, so let me just give my takeaways here. So we started FSD from a parked spot. It was able to get out and then made a left. And then there was a long stretch there of street drive heading to I-278. And the thing is, there were two occasions there that I had to press the accelerator. And also they were all related to just Wait, did I? Now I think I'm mixing things up. Yeah, actually, you know, you know what? I, I used the accelerator several times during the drive and it is so that I could advance in those cases because I felt that FSD w was abruptly slowing down and so I was like trying to maintain consistent speed on those street, in, the, in that street drive. So yeah, I, I used the accelerator and then there's another one when I used it but I actually postponed eventually. I just tapped on the pedal and immediately released it because there was this van that was turning already and so I just had to give way for it. And FSD also was supposed to just move forward on a green but it didn't do it right away and the van took it as FSD giving way and that's why it made a turn. Now I have to comment how FSD on a hurry mode makes lane changes because it is very good on the highway especially on tighter spots where it really needs to accelerate and FSD accelerates. So I have two examples of that in this drive which is good. And then also coming here close to the destination FSD was able to adjust through the traffic but the thing is there was this case where it was still accelerating a little bit but it's a construction zone and there are a lot of pedestrian and then light is turning red but it's still moving forward so I had to press the brakes there because I just want to be on the safe side and then also I had to disengage the second time because of that emergency vehicle just for me to take over and to make sure that I'm doing the right thing. Now the thing is I have to mention the cars ahead of me didn't really advance so I wasn't able to do anything as well but just want to point that out where if you're using FSD you need to consider as well like what happens if there is an emergency vehicle that's passing by and its siren is on and I think maybe FSD will adjust but I didn't really have a close example of it so I'm just leaning on the safe side so yeah I mean those are all my takeaways for this test and if you find this video helpful or of value please like and subscribe thank you guys for watching bye